Okay, came to talk about my conversation with my friends today. I'm going to play a little tiny thing with this song. It's a beautiful day. I was going to play more of that, but you can listen to it because it's the first thing on our Facebook page. I mean, YouTube channel. You know, every day can be a beautiful day because Jesus is the light of the world. And those that believe in him walk, don't walk in darkness. They have the light of life. So I just want to talk about that real quick because we got pretty excited talking about that because everybody, every day can be a beautiful day, no matter how difficult it is. <clears throat> because Jesus said he's the light of the world. If you haven't read John 8 recently, you should, you should just go ahead and read it. He who follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Any good father would, be, would not be happy if his child was, a, dictate, was a, a slave to the dictates of the flesh, right? We wouldn't want our children to be a slave to the dictates of the flesh. So Jesus came to make us free. And if the Son sets us free, we'll be free indeed, right? Jesus is always willing to help us. You know, the people around Jesus in his days were always crying, emergency, emergency. <laughs> Even when I first met Gene Sullivan, I was, I was sitting across the table from him. And I just wanted to reach over and grab his neck and say, can't you see there's a storm around here? You know, like we're always creating, it, it, we always think it's an emergency, but maybe most stuff isn't actually an emergency. So um, there's a few exceptions to that, but putting up a wall against giving into that little three-year-old voice in us that acts and speaks and thinks like a child, that pushes us into strife and we go after our flesh comforts, you know, uh, let's see here, sorry. It's, it's not always in our best interest, right? We think that those little flesh comforts, there's things that are constructive flesh comforts that God gave us food to enjoy, but when it's destructive, it's destructive, right? So we need to put up a wall against the little flesh brat baby. And Jesus died to make us free. So in a sense, if you could actually die to make your children free, you might actually do it. I have four children. And if I could actually set them free from all their problems, and somebody said, if, you, if we kill you, your children can be free the rest of their life. I'd probably do it for all four of them because I'm not a respecter of persons. I love all my children equally, even though if you have children, a lot of times they don't think that, but it's not true. So, um, Jesus, we were made in God's image, you know? That's who he is. His desire is to make us free, so... Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Believe in Jesus, focus there, for he's the light of the world. And those who believe in him shall, shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. What does that mean? That we can pick up a gun and we can grab a bullet. His words, their spirit and life. It's what Jesus did. And we can stop shooting at the upright at heart. We don't have to shoot people. Shoot the Lord with our thoughts. I'm talking, you know, have really crappy thoughts about God, people, and ourselves because it always comes back. We'll do whatever we allow ourselves to do with other people. We'll do with the Lord. You know, it boils down to this, as you've done it to the least, so you've done it unto me. I, I want to talk about how to not how to, how to have a good day by, by not sticking darkness to you because we can snare our very own soul if we don't understand the wiles of the devil. So um, the Lord wants us to have the peace of God that passes all understanding. Even when Jesus was troubled, he prayed. He communed with the Father and the Spirit, and he was strengthened in every single situation. So what if our when our heart condemns us, we feel guilty? 
He who is greater than our condemnation will wash us with the water of his word, right? And we don't have to be self-condemned, self-bashers that end up alienating ourselves from the life of God and the life of his people. It's never been necessary to do because there's no life when we withdraw to Mr. Death, right? And open the door for him to come in and play. At that. And I didn't use the scripture here, but Jesus said it, you know. If you knew who the thief is, would you let him in to play? Would you let those little rats come in your house and cuddle them that bite and give you diseases? No, you probably wouldn't. So when we withdraw into death, we're actually withdrawing into, into the arms of the king of death. Independence. Who's, who's crouching at our door to keep us alienated from the life of God. The toothless, drag, the toothless dragon that wants us to be overwhelmed and not understand how actually easy it is to walk into the great father of light and his arms, to pick up the phone, grab our gun, stop making a place for the devil, the liar, because all he's trying to do is steal our inheritance, which is the tree of life, which is Jesus Christ. That's his plan every day. That's why I make these videos to help people up their game on the devil. You know, give us this day our daily bread. Give us our bullet. Give us our bread so we can shoot at the right guy. <laughs> and, not, and not us, not people, and not the Lord. So... Why is it so important for us to be merciful, kind, tender-hearted, forgiving? Because we stick darkness to ourselves when we're not. It's just the devil's plan to get us to be nitpicking, bite backing, you know, backbiters, you know, despisers, murmurs, and complainers, um, looking down on people. Because if we get suckered into that, and if you read. The red letters, Jesus talks about it over and over, the very snare of the devil, by what we do to the least, by what we think about the least, by what we say about the least. You know, I make a lot of judgments about people, but not to condemn them. I understand the demise of the human soul. That's why it's so important for us to understand the demise of the human soul, because we can make judgments without condemning people. We all need Zion saved through judgment. We, we only get fixed through good judgment. That's why we need good judgment, right? We have to make judgments. And I don't make judgments to condemn people, and I hope you don't either. But I tell the truth because it's important to tell the truth. We all need the truth to be free. So <clears throat> why would we, again, want a bunch of rats to come in to our house and start talking to us and and biting us and giving us diseases. That's kind of what it's like when we let demonic thoughts, we don't get renewed in the spirit of our mind. So it really can be a beautiful day. We don't have to have melancholy days if you listen to Dan's song about the movie of your life. How many days have I had, I have to ask myself that question, where I never got a bullet, where I never got a flashlight to the darkness. I mean, if Jesus is there and he's the light of the world, our only problem is we don't turn on the, the flashlight. That's the problem. So all of those who believe in him actually have a flashlight. They get this day their daily bread. They get this day their daily piece of light to overcome the darkness today. Like the manna from heaven today <laughs> that couldn't be used tomorrow. So let your government come. Let your will be done. That's what makes a beautiful day, living for his kingdom, his power, his glory. Not letting the one that's crouching outside the door in to kill, steal, and destroy us. Because greater is he that's in you than he that the little brat that's worldly, sensual, and devilish that lets devils in, right? So that little flesh baby that lets rats into play. Um, if you believe that, you can get some light, some bullets to keep the robber out. You can have a beautiful day, even when the devil comes in like a flood. You can, with Jesus, put up a wall against him. This is why it's so important to exhort one another daily while, while it's called the day, so our heart doesn't get hard with unbelief. I hope this helps somebody today.